hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much to all my wonderful subscribers and if you are new to my channel please do not forget to subscribe my name is Justina and my channel's name is Simply Natural and in here we do food recipe, mokba, chicha vlogs and natural hair videos. And if this is your first time coming across my channel, please don't forget to subscribe on your way out and press on the notification bell to notify you whenever I upload a new and interesting video. So it is another cooking video. So today we are cooking. <laughs> we are going to be making obono and okra soup. These two things goes so well together. It is a perfect combination. These two things they go so well together, obono and okra. You can either cook okra separately and cook obono separately, but sometimes we combine them together and we cook them together because they are so juicy and yummy together so yes today we are cooking obono and okra soup i will take you over there and i will introduce you guys to our ingredients for today come on on board and stay tuned guys this is our ingredients for today i have my nigerian dry chili i have maggi i have ogili obe i have crayfish salt nigerian mix seasoning i have my obono dry fish this is cooked turkey gizzard and this is my okra i will wash my okra and i will start cutting my okra and that is red oil so in this pot, I have cow shrimp, shaki, yeah? That is it. So I am going to cook it. When the shaki is getting done, I will add in my turkey gizzard that I have already cooked. So yes, we are going to start cooking our shaki. There is onions already in the shaki, yeah? I am going to add maggi, salt, and mix seasoning. So that is my mix seasoning. I'll add another scoop of that add one scoop of salt and I will add two maggi I'm going to put my stove on and then we will start cooking this meat I'm just gonna cover it and let it cook and um, I'm gonna keep my eye on it and know when I'm going to add water in it but apart from it I'm gonna cover it and just leave it alone for now so now guys, I am going to wash my okra. I'm going to add salt in the water. I'm going to add my okra in and I'm just going to give it a rub. done washing it I'm gonna leave it for a bit before I start cutting it so guys my meat my shaki has been cooking for like 20 minutes and it is time to add my um turkey gizzard I did not when I was cooking the turkey gizzard I did not cook it completely so it's still a bit tough so I'm going to add it in there and add more water and close it up and cook it for another 15 minutes before I start adding my obono so I have cover and I will cook it for 15 minutes so guys after 15 minutes I'm going to add my obono so I'll add my obono I will stir it very well and I'm going to put it back on the stove and let it start boiling I'm going to cook this obono for 10 minutes before i add my red oil so i'm going to stay properly and put it back on the stove so it will start boiling okay. so while my obono is boiling i'm going to add hot water in this fish i'll leave it to soak here for maybe four to five minutes and i'll wash it out 
okay guys i am going to add my red oil now it has been boiling for 10 minutes now and i stirred it in between so in between the 10 minutes i i stirred it up again okay so i'm going to add my red oil So I've added in my red oil. I am going to leave it to boil again for another 10 minutes just to give the red oil the chance to cook because you don't want to be tasting the red oil when it's not cooked properly. So I'm going to leave it to cook for another 10 minutes. So I have cleaned my, uh, my fish. I am going to add my fish in there as well. Also, I have uh, finished cutting my okra. So back to the pot, I will add my dry fish with it. I have added my dry fish in it. So I'm going to let it boil for 10 minutes. I'm just gonna cover it halfway and just let it boil for 10 minutes. I actually blended this crayfish earlier to use it, but I'm not gonna use this one because I want to blend the crayfish and the ogiliobe together. So I'm gonna put the two ogiliobe in there and I'm going to blend it up. I'm going to add my blended crayfish and ogilio bay and I'm going to add my Nigerian dry chili I'm going to mix I'm going to taste for salt so I've tasted for salt and maggi I'm going to add two maggi in there and a bit of salt because there is no maggi there is no salt so I'm going to add two maggi I'm going to add a bit of salt mm. yeah there is maggi and salt in it now I'm going to boil it for another five minutes and then we will add our okra because this soup is as good as ready. So guys, after another five minutes, it is time to add our okra. Guys, I am going to cook this for another four to five minutes. This soup is ready. I don't want to overcook my okra, so another four to five minutes will take this out of the stove. So guys, I am going to take it out of the stove now. It is done. Oh my days, guys. The aroma in this kitchen, the aroma of the Ogilio Bay. Oh, it is to die for. So yes, we are done. That is our soup. That is our Obono and Okra soup. So I'm going to add in the plate. So that is the look of our soup guys this is ready so guys this is our soup 
obono and okra soup the aroma in here is so good i can't wait to dive in guys i can't wait to dive in so yes your girl is done please do not forget to like share and subscribe and give your girl a thumbs up because it really means a lot to me and i will see you guys so guys this is where today's recipe is going to end please do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up like share and subscribe to my channel a thumbs up really means a lot to me because it shows that i am doing a good job in what i do so guys don't forget to give a thumbs up thank you thank you so much for joining me in another nigerian soup recipe i hope you enjoy this recipe and if you have never ever cook obono and okra together you might give it a try because it is a very wonderful combination and both of them go so well together and you know <laughs> you know what is coming up next so stay tuned okay please do not forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you on my next one bye